In this video, I will be showing you how to deal with a snag in your knitting. Snag happens to the best of us. We catch our rings on our, on our knitted sweaters and a snag happens or one of our playful cats gets a hold of a knitted sweater or other knitted item and a snag can happen. Hopefully the yarn hasn't broken. So that's not the repair I'm going to talk about today. Today I'm talking about just a snag where a loop of yarn that's still intact has been pulled up from the knitting. So first of all, you could simply use a uh, crochet hook to pull this loop to in the spot where it is somewhere and pull it to the back to hide that it's there. And maybe that's good enough. You could even tack this down with some sewing thread if you'd like. And that is perfectly fine if you are happy with how that looks and you don't want to mess with trying to repair. The way to fix this though, if you aren't happy with that loop being there, is to determine where the snag originates from and how far it moves into the knitting on either side. So this one, because it's worked in th thicker yarn, isn't too bad. It looks to be, and sometimes you can figure it out from by going to the wrong side of the work and seeing where there are some tight rows. So it looks to be here to like here. So not, that's not very far. In thinner yarns, snags can tend to be much more drastic and cover much more area. So a, I use just a tapestry needle, or you can use a cable needle or a uh, DPN. And the bulk of the snag looks to be on that side and not so much on this side because this stitch is only slightly smaller, but this stitch right here is very small. So I'm going to kind of ease some excess yarn over to this side and start just from the snag up to either direction, kind of ease the yarn back into the row like so and then ease this to the other side and like I said this is this was not a very bad snag at all and that's about it it's maybe still I can feel a gap with my finger on the back side of the work so it's still not quite the right size. So I'm gonna ease it. And I'm just pulling leg by leg, kind of working that yarn back into that row bit by bit until I'm kind of happy with that fabric. And that looks pretty good. So. Like I said, in a thinner yarn, this row, the snag could be much more drastic. So you'll need to be patient and stitch by stitch, ease excess into, and it'll depend on how many stitches are affected on either side. So if it's about evenly affected on either side, make sure you ease half of that excess loop into this side and then save some of that excess 
to be able to ease it the other way. That is, in a nutshell, how to deal with a snag in your knitting. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.